Okay guys, so let's check what the problem is with the machine so that we can troubleshoot. I think this side of uh, the spin tab is still working, but uh, you can hear that there is a strange sound coming from the back of the machine. So I just need to check on that. I turned the watch timer to an on position, but the machine failed to respond. I just grabbed my screwdriver set so that you can open the back panel and check what is inside. Okay guys, so the back panel is removed. Now we need to check uh, what is inside or between those models, what caused this strange sound. So let me switch on the spin tab first so that I can check what are the problem. I think this motor is good because you can see it's just spinning in there. Finally, I get where the sound is coming from. So it's, it's coming from uh, this motor. And this motor is for rushing water out when you set your machine into a drain position. So let's check what's inside. It might be a coin or something stuck in there. But it seems to be nothing stuck in there. So I think. So I will let me try this one more time and see if whether I might get any luck. But unfortunately, this is a bad sign and the motor is still not working. So I'm getting unlucky on this. So I definitely saw two problems I need to deal with. The wash motor and the water pump. I removed the water pump and we're gonna check on these veins later. You see that. So the only way to access the motor you need to turn the machine upside down in order to remove the base frame. As you can see the motors are now exposed. Let me check if this can spin but the problem is I didn't realize that the spring is still forcing this brake against this part. It's actually coupling and it's hard to spin. So I just need to remove the spring away from this. As you can see, now the motor is free. So it's actually spinning very well and that strange sound is gone, which means the problem was uh, actually coming from the water pump so I disconnected the motor so that I can remove it and uh, got to test it on a bench let's drop down those three screws okay so I just put one of my single face drawing connection picture for you guys to be able to understand how to connect your single face motor for bench testing so before using a capacitor you must make sure you have to discharge it by touching both cable ends or its terminal with an isolated screwdriver while wearing gloves for safety reasons So this is how to simply do your connection. So uh, just need to clip that peg for this cable not to touch each other because the explosion might happen or something. So you see, the motor can cannot respond. So for you guys to trust my testing methods, I grabbed this uh, water pump motor and I just 
want to check if uh, it may not able to run or something after connecting it the same way as I did to this one, previous one but I really trust the idea because I'm always using it most of the time when I decided to bench test and to connect I mean I'm sorry what to say to connect uh, when I decided to connect uh, through face motor and using it as a single face while I'm testing Let me remove the pulsator because uh, I just want to remove the gearbox. As you can see, I'm screwing down. Finally, I managed to remove the gearbox. As you can see, the seals were filled with soil all over. So, this might be the reason why those models i mean th that model was sounding so strange so get inside the gearbox as you can see the gear the grease is still okay there's no any sign of uh water that uh, might have passed through or that stacks in there which means the gearbox is still okay and we need to get it back together and the planetary gear set are still not worn out If you see any leakage that comes underneath the gearbox, you need to replace this seal because it's crucial. This is very important, guys. I removed all the dirt where the seal must do its job. It's time to get the gearbox back in place. Right there. Time to lock in the pulsator back in place and as you can see there was too much pieces of cloth and bare stuff stuck in underneath the surface okay guys so it's time for us to check on this water pump and see what the problem might be as you can see when I'm trying to push this back and forth there's too much play on that uh, new one compares to the old impellers. So I guess that's the main reason why this was causing sound because when it's trying to spin, the impeller was hitting uh, against the housing wall. So as you can see, I'm cleaning one of the old impeller. Uh, I have to use it to replace this new one. And this one just pops out with a flathead screwdriver. Really simple. It's my simple to do it. So I'm getting that transformer in there. So we're gonna see if this one works really fine on the test. And uh, we need to wait until uh, the time when I will get it in the machine. Let's see the test, guys. The final test will be done on the part two video after when both the water pump and the motor get installed back in the machine. Time to put our rebuilt water pump back in the machine. As for watering, I'll try to spin this screwdriver. As you can see, 
can see guys there's no signs of leakage coming out at the care box which means the seal you have seen this very well this is the end of part one guys please like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and check for the part two video i will appreciate your support and thanks for watching